All right, guys. We got a 2010 GTI, two liter TSI. We got an oil leak caused by this PCV valve right here, overpressurizing the crankcase, and it blew out the rear main seal. So, in order to remedy this, because I plan on keeping this car, I went to Integrated Engineering and got this catch can kit with the PCV block off plate, also known to the forum members as the Africa plate. So, yeah, we're going to walk you through taking it apart, putting the kit back on, and seeing if we can't remedy this PCV problem that these cars are so prone to having. First, what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the coils. The easiest way i found to do that is to lift up on the back of it, push down with your thumb, and rock it back and forth. A lot of guys say you'll hear a clip. I've never heard a clip. So now that we got those off, take out these two coil packs right here I believe that this is cylinder three and four to gain access to the Africa plate bolts I like to set them aside put them in the same cylinder they came out of and now you have access to all your Torx heads if I'm not mistaken these are T30s take this off here we'll take this off here and then we'll take this entire plate off and put the new Apple plate on confirmation on the bit size it is a T30 Nine bolts of the T30 orientation. The last one hides underneath your coil wiring. And then you should be free to take your PCV off of your head cover. Just like that. Here she is. We need to remove this part and save it because it will be reutilized with this kit. God damn. There really is a lot of oil in there. Yeah. Okay. We're going to take a clean microfiber towel so that there are no leftover burrs we're going to clean up where the gasket goes so you get a good mating surface with no debris or anything of the orientation because with this kit you utilize your factory One thing that really drew me to this kit that stood up above the rest is Integrated Engineering has the block off which allows you to run a boost tap for a boost gauge. However, this car is pretty well stock so currently I'm not going to utilize that. So they also come with this block off plug that will thread in here. We we'll utilize some 243 Loctite, blue Loctite. It has an o-ring as well as a plastic c-clip to seal so you don't have any boost leaks say three sixteenths allen key okay so the o-ring pushes into the groove inside of the cap make a proper seal and you're going to want to verify that the cap push past your barb then you stick this in there and obviously I did not get past the barb <clears throat> Damn. Uh. 
Now I suppose it's time to remove the gasket off of the former PCV valve. You do this very carefully because you will reutilize this gasket on the new piece. Then you can say goodbye to the faulty Volkswagen PCV valve. This is going to be home. Now, in the included instructions, it said that a couple pieces needed to be trimmed, this tip being included, and it looks like this 90 right here. So, I will get some nippers. So, now that we removed the angle piece in this corner, as well as the original lift knob from what I would call it we can reinstall the new integrated engineering Africa plate I'm going to clean this hole for the breather because we will be reinstalling the factory piece back onto the intake which I might as well install this now well, come on. What are what is our major malfunction? Oh. Our secondary air pump is cock blocking me. It's in my way that they do not list in the instruction manuals. Okay, so as you can tell, this bracket right here on the secondary air pump directly by the fuel injection high pressure pump going to pose a slight problem let's see okay so we're going with a slight change of directions according to the directions provided by integrated engineering for this bracket right here Is such a nice fit now that is swell okay so we will install all of our new hex key allen head whatever you would like to call it hardware into all of these locations I'm going to utilize our 243 Loctite as you can tell it comes with one short bolt as well as the rest that are the same size the short bolt is going to go right here in this one directly underneath that coil harness so the hex head size going to be a 3 sixteenths just get them started by hand and we'll go in with the drill I'm just kind of gonna jump around try not to over tighten in one specific area or do Because this is an o-ring seal you want to jump around and apply as even as pressure as you can so you don't pancake the seal thus causing yourself an oil leak where you did not have one previously this hex key feels a little loose in here but it's working for what we're doing I'm going to reinstall the problematic hardware We're going to take one of our previously used bolts, reinstall it in the factory location for the intake breather hose. We're set there. From here, I'm going to reinstall my coils. At 
The Audi R8 coils in these motors takes a fair amount of pressure. get them to seat where they need to go on the intake it just slips right in I have the APR stage 2 intake tube I don't know whether this is a common issue or not but it does not snap on there and just kind of chills but there's no ring to seal it so there's the Africa play install on the EA 888 2 liter TSI we will continue with the catch can install from integrated engineering have our catch can we've got your base here where you're going to put your drain you have two 90s that are going to go in your inlet as well as your outlet the inlets marked the outlet is not I'm going to put thread sealant on it I'm just going to continue the use of the 243 it should seal the threads. I'm hoping. Actually, I should more than likely use Teflon tape. Instead of utilizing the 243, we're going to use some thread sealant tape. Drain petcocks installed with a 15 millimeter as opposed to a 916 because I like to live on the edge. To install the bracketry, I'm going to use a 530 seconds Allen key to install the bracketry onto the catch can itself. The plastic bracket that secures the left engine mount, oh, secures to the left engine mount, needs to be removed, bolt and nut using a 10 millimeter socket. Originally this car came with the noise pipe, which connected to the charge pipe for the throttle body, and it had a plastic bracket that went from this motor mount bolt to this motor mount hole for a bolt. There was a plastic bracket right here. With this kit, it is required that you remove that. I pre-assume that you're going to utilize this hole right here, which means that you must take this Torx out, lift that up a skosh, and install your catch can right here in this void. Utilizing their hardware, as well as a washer. <laughs> it's a 30, just like everything else on this Volkswagen engine. I'm gonna install it loosely right here. And then we will get the hoses ran and I will secure it further. Attach the 45 degree end to the driver's side adapter plate straight into the left side of the catch can. I don't necessarily see a straight. Oh, here's my straight. Oh, check this out. They give you two separate hoses. It's foolproof. Which, for those of you watching, is the inlet. Had to get the correct angle of the dangle. Correct size is an inch and a sixteenth or a minus ten a n. I would say that is sufficiently tight. On the catch can, you don't necessarily need to balls to the wall, torque it down. It's nice and snug. Then we will come back to our T30 for the washer fluid reservoir, as well as our tools. Come on, baby. And as is that, you now have a catch can install from Integrated Engineering on a 2010 GTI Mark 6 
EA888 2 liter TSI. It's always good practice to go over everything that you touched. Make sure that everything's tight. Make sure you put everything where it was supposed to go. Make sure you don't leave anything in the in the midst. I gotta say for things that are difficult, this was definitely not one of them at all.